Okay, so I got something to say. Y'all just did an eight minute video. <clears throat> Maybe I need to reevaluate what I said because now I gotta start all over. Have mercy. <laughs> but y'all know how you have these so called friends or so called people that have your best interests and they support you and this and this and that. But they move with ill intentions. And it's like me. See, I pick up on stuff. And see, a lot of people don't realize that. You cannot just come talking to me any kind of way. Because I like to know why. So I'm going to keep asking you questions until I feel like you telling the truth. Or it's like a legitimate answer. So with that being said. So y'all, hold on. Because like I said, I'm going to be pausing it. Because I keep stopping. So I had a situation the other day, right? And... She was supposed to be my friend, so we were supposed to link up or whatever. But y'all know how stuff come up, and you keep in communication with the person of what's going on, but they still proceed to tell you, oh, well, can I park here or park there? I just told you that I'm about to leave, right? Right. So then you get this text message, oh, this is why I'm iffy about our relationship. Iffy? Iffy? Oh, no, baby. I don't do iffy. Because that means you being fake. Because I don't do that around people. So, it goes from that to, you know, the voice messages and all that stuff, right? So, then she goes, oh, um, I'm your only real friend. And you think because um, you have all those people on social media, um, TikTok, and instagram and youtube and this and this and this and that that's how i know you hating because what does my social media family because i get love and support from y'all so that's one thing i'm not gonna let somebody do is talk down about my own um, social media appearance and the the people so just because you're trying it's like <sighs> y'all this is how crazy it is <gasps> okay because you're trying to get where I'm at. Yeah, I don't have 10,000 um, followers yet. Or I might not be monetized. That's besides the point. Because I'm not doing it just for the money. I have a mission. I have a purpose that I'm actually doing. Something that you don't know about. And so it's like when people try to compete where they don't compare. It's like they want to. Everything that you're doing they want to do. You cannot do that. You might can try to mimic it or like copy it but it's not going to be like the originator and it is what it is so i'm like oh no then thought she was going to block me <clears throat> and i not respond <laughs> baby you must don't know i will go download that text now and i'm gonna get out what i have to say that's one thing about me honey so i sent the long paragraph i sure did but one thing i'm gonna do i don't attack people i'm going to tell you about your stuff it's not to hurt you but it's to help you heal because obviously you got some demons or some spirits or whatever you got going on up in there that you need to heal because i don't come in confusion so it's like when people come to me i like to understand like exactly what's going on and then like i said your life is a mess you need to get it together and like I, they be worried about the wrong stuff so, I said all that to say, I don't even like being around people like that. I'm an introvert. So, if you're my friend and we've been friends for so long, you should understand that. But like I said, I'm not about to explain myself to nobody. If you feel like you keep trying and attempting, that don't make sense. Especially when you know that things occur. Why didn't you just say, hey... When you have some free time, let's talk. Boom, boom, boom. It's how you do it. People just go off the edge and then think what they're saying is right. No, because you're absolutely wrong. And so, like I said, life goes on. And I have my family. I have my real family. And I know who's been there for me and who hasn't. People try to take credit for something that they didn't do. Excuse me, like I said, I will humble you very quickly. Like, don't play with me. Go play with somebody else. Go play with your kids. Go play with your mama. Because I'm not her. <laughs> so, like, I just thought I'd say, y'all. But I know that other people 
be, you know, telling their stories and stuff about how these so-called friends is. And this year, I mean, over the years, it has really been getting exposed of how people really feel. Okay, so stop reaching out. Stop contacting me. Because I don't reach out to you. So why are you reaching out to me? Oh, because I'm the good one, right? I'm the one with the good energy. I'm the one that has God in my life. Everybody else around you doesn't. So it's like you just lost. And you're trying to find your way when you actually have somebody that's trying to help you, but you keep rejecting it. I, I don't do confusion. So if you're rejecting God, you're rejecting me. And it is what it is. So it's like life goes on. Ain't no beef. There's no harm. No pun intended. Everything is great. So it's like when people are misery, misery loves company. I'm not miserable. So you got to go care that somewhere else. And on that note, I'm out, y'all, because for real. But I comment below because I know I'm not the only one. Like, it be men, it be women, it be your family, too. Co-workers and all. Like, nobody is off limits when it comes to getting blocked or getting cut off. You got to stand on business and set on boundaries. Because people will keep trying to overwalk you and disrespect you if you allow them to. Oh, no, I'm going to cut this short so I don't have to keep dealing with that. You see what I'm saying? Boom. So, like I said, I'm done. And I'm out. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. I just had to go on that rant because people really would have you messed up out here. Like I said, I'm spiritual, honey. But, oh, the real thoughts still come out then. Huh. <laughs>